picture a monster that can attack at any time, that can change itself to evade the weapons used against it, and can come back to life from the dead. It sounds like something from a horror movie, but this monster is real. It's killed Steve Jobs, Patrick Swayze, and when I was 14, my mother. Now, my slide gives away the mystery, but the monster is cancer. And just like the different image of a monster you all have in your minds, cancer is always different, even in one person over the course of their treatment. Because you see, when we treat cancer with a drug, there is the potential for it to mutate and become resistant. Well, how does it do this? Cancer actually has a variety of mechanisms it can use to survive. And so when we inhibit one with a drug, there is the potential for it to become dependent on a secondary mechanism and continue to ravage. A great example of this was a clinical trial looking at the effect of anti-angiogenesis drugs. These are drugs that stop the mechanism of cancer that allow it to grow new blood vessels towards itself to bring fresh oxygen and nutrients. Researchers thought that if they could cut this off, they would be able to starve the blood and starve the cancer, and it would die. But the problem was patients died in the same amount of time, and instead of one large tumor, they had multiple small aggressive tumors all over their body. So if these, these combinations of mechanisms exist, how do we find a way to treat them together? Well, this is called combination therapy, giving multiple drugs at the same time and trying to predict that secondary mechanism. And it is a great idea, in theory. Because with 160 different approved chemotherapy drugs, finding the right combinations is not only challenging, expensive, but also dangerous. Because multiple drugs can mean multiple interactions. So how do we find them? Well, we compute them. I have created a computer simulation of cancer growth where we can watch cancer grow from one cell all the way to a fully detectable tumor in a matter of hours. We can add treatment and mutations anywhere along the way, and I have studied 120 different combination treatments to see if they really are more effective together. I have found some that effectively silence the cancer and five specific ones that make cancer worse. The key here, we've found this without risking patients' lives, costing millions, or taking the 12 years the average clinical trial takes. In the future, we hope we can use things like this to narrow the field of the treatments that we have to test, but more importantly, to predict the killer combo for each individual patient and finally slay the monster. Thank you.